This is Akashavani Mangaluru. Dear listeners, in today's Talk in English program now, Ms. Jennifer Aida Maskarinas will speak on the topic self-esteem. The only person who can pull me down is myself and I am not going to let myself to be pulled down anymore, says C. Joybel C. Self-esteem is the regard or respect that a person has for self. A person with positive feelings and a positive image regarding the self is said to have a high self-esteem. Self-esteem is the overall subjective opinion and evaluation we hold about ourselves. It includes our beliefs about our worthiness, capabilities and the value we place on ourselves as individuals. In the modern world, self-esteem plays a crucial role in various aspects of our life. Healthy self-esteem is linked to better mental health, including reduced levels of anxiety and depression. It provides a solid foundation for coping with life's challenges and setbacks. Individuals with good self-esteem tend to form healthier and more fulfilling relationships. They are better equipped to communicate assertively, set boundaries and establish positive connections with others. People with higher self-esteem are often more adaptable and open to taking a calculated risk, which can lead to career advancement. A healthy self-esteem empowers individuals to make decisions that align with their values and aspirations. It reduces the reliance on external validation, fostering a sense of autonomy and self-trust. There are various indicators of the positive self-esteem. People with positive self-esteem has a positive self-talk. For example, they say when they meet with some challenges, I may face challenges, but I believe in my ability to overcome them. Mistakes are opportunities to learn and grow. I am proud of the effort I put into this project. Even if it's not perfect, I value the progress I have made. We all are invited to have these types of self-talk to boost our self-esteem. People with positive self-esteem have a strong sense of resilience. When they are faced with rejection, they see it as a temporary setback. They will keep trying and improving because they know their worth. Whenever the things don't go as planned, they are resilient and they have the confidence to bounce back and use this experience to become even stronger. People with positive self-esteem tend to have healthy relationships. Usually, they surround themselves with people who support and uplift them. They choose relationships that add value to their life. They are comfortable being themselves around others. They believe that the authentic connections bring out the best in them and appreciate those who accept them as they are. The self-acceptance is a positive indicator for high self-esteem. People with self-acceptance attitude acknowledge their imperfections and embrace them as part of their unique identity. They love themselves, their flaws and all. They know that they are constantly evolving and consider it as normal. They accept where they are in their journey and trust that they are becoming the best version of themselves. The assertiveness is very well noted in the lives of those who have positive self-esteem. They express their thoughts and opinions confidently, understanding that their perspective is valuable. They set boundaries that align with their values and needs and they communicate them assertively by prioritizing their well-being. People with self-esteem have realistic and achievable goals for themselves and they celebrate their successes along the way. They have a clear vision for their future and they take intentional steps to work towards their aspirations. They believe in their ability to achieve their dreams. People with high self-esteem have gratitude as their hallmark. They appreciate the positive aspects of their life 
and express gratitude for the people and experiences that contribute to their well-being. They focus on what they have accomplished rather than what they lack. Gratitude enhances their overall sense of fulfillment. Let us now talk about some of the indicators of low self-esteem. Individuals with low self-esteem often engage in persistent negative self-talk, consistently focusing on their perceived shortcomings and failures. They think they can never do anything right. They always feel they will mess up and they think everyone considers them as a failure. And they say, for example, I am so stupid for making that mistake. No matter how hard I try, I will never be good enough. These type of negative self-talk destroys their confidence. Another indicator of low self-esteem is perfectionism. Setting unrealistically high standards for oneself and being overly critical of any perceived mistakes or shortcomings is a common sign of low self-esteem. They can't submit any project until it's absolutely flawless. Any imperfection means they consider themselves as failure, incompetent and they think they need to be perfect to be worthy. People with low self-esteem may avoid social interactions, fearing judgment or rejection by others a tendency to isolate both emotionally and physically. This isolation may stem from a belief that others would not value or appreciate their company. They might feel uncomfortable or unworthy in social situations. For example, when they are invited for a party or family function, they don't want to go. They feel that they'll just embarrass themselves. And everyone will realize how boring and uninteresting they are. Other instances, they will avoid going to such occasions because they feel out of place among others. Individuals with low self-esteem tend to excessively compare themselves to others, often feeling inferior or inadequate in various aspects of life. They look at others' success and they feel that they will never be able to achieve anything like that. They consider themselves not talented or capable with others and feel not as smart or accomplished as their peers. Those with low self-esteem may struggle to accept compliments graciously, dismissing positive feedback or attributing success to external factors. Whenever they achieve something and others compliment them, they say, It was nothing. I just got lucky. I am not really that skilled or talented. Thanks, but I don't deserve the compliment. I probably could have done better. It's not that great. There is an overwhelming fear of failure which may lead to avoidance of challenges and seeking constant approval. Individuals with low self-esteem may constantly seek external validation and approval from others, relying on others' opinions to define their self-worth. Those with low self-esteem may struggle with decision-making, fearing that their choices will be wrong or criticized. This indecision can lead to a sense of powerlessness. They depend on others' decision to make any choices and do not trust their own judgment. Low self-esteem is a big stumbling block for the young teenagers and students. Students can face challenges related to self-esteem based on various factors, including financial background, social status, physical appearance, language and family issues. A student from a low-income family may feel a lack of self-worth due to not being able to afford the same resources or experiences as wealthier peers. This financial disparity can contribute to feelings of inadequacy or exclusion. A student who perceives themselves as belonging to a marginalized or stigmatized social group may experience lower self-esteem. 
discrimination or stereotypes from others can contribute to a sense of not being valued or accepted students who do not conform to societal standards of beauty or face challenges related to body image may struggle with self esteem this can manifest in comparisons to peers fear of judgment or reluctance to participate in social activities a student who speak english as a second language might feel self conscious about pronunciation or grammar leading to a fear of speaking up in class this can affect their confidence and willingness to engage in academic and social settings students experiencing family issues such as family conflict instability or abuse may carry the emotional burden into their academic lives the stress and emotional toll can impact their ability to focus on studies and participate in extracurricular activities affecting their self esteem it's important to note that these examples are not exhaustive and individual experiences can vary widely additionally students may face a combination of these challenges compounding the effect on their self esteem addressing these issues often requires a multifaceted approach it's important for individual students with low self esteem to recognize that seeking help is a sign of strength and improvement combining different approaches and being patient with oneself can contribute to meaningful and lasting changes in self esteem if the low self esteem is significantly impacting mental health seeking guidance from a mental health professional is particularly important individuals with low self esteem can seek various types of help to improve their self perception and overall well-being individual psychotherapy or counseling with a qualified mental health professional can help individuals explore the root causes of their low self esteem and develop strategies to build confidence cognitive behavioral therapy cbt is a widely used therapeutic approach that focuses on changing negative thought patterns and behaviors it can be effective in addressing self esteem issues schools colleges and universities often have counseling services that can provide support for students dealing with personal challenges surrounding oneself with supportive and positive people can have a significant impact on self esteem friends family and mentors who provide encouragement and constructive feedback can be valuable allies connecting students with mentors or role models who have overcome similar challenges can provide inspiration and guidance peer support like having a buddy system in schools and colleges which will create an inclusive and supportive peer environment can help students feel more accepted and valued learning new skills or owning existing ones can contribute to a sense of competence and achievement boosting self esteem this could involve pursuing hobbies taking up a course or acquiring new knowledge engaging in regular physical activity has been linked to improvements in mood and self esteem exercise can be a powerful tool for enhancing both mental and physical well-being mindfulness practices and meditation can help individuals become more aware of their thoughts and emotions mindfulness can promote self acceptance and reduce the impact of negative self talk practicing positive affirmations involves intentionally repeating positive statements about oneself over time this can help reshape negative self perceptions focusing on professional development and setting career goals can contribute to a sense of accomplishment and competence we can take initiatives which aims at promoting diversity inclusion and understanding can contribute to a more supportive school or college culture schools and colleges may offer financial aid or assistance 
programs to help students facing economic challenges. There are numerous self-help books and online resources focused on building self-esteem. These materials often provide practical exercises and insights to help individuals work on improving their self-image. The Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Swartz R.S. Agarwal adopted this classic by David J. Swartz offering practical advice on overcoming self-doubt and thinking positively. You can win a step-by-step -step tool for top achievers by Shiv Khera. His book focuses on personal development, self-esteem and achieving success through positive thinking and effective goal setting. Discover the Diamond in You by Arandan Chaudhary. He provides insights on personal and professional development, emphasizing the importance of self-esteem and confidence. I Am Another You by Priya Kumar. Her book focuses on self-discovery, personal growth and finding one's true identity and purpose. Having a healthy self-esteem can positively impact self-actualization by providing a solid foundation of self-worth and confidence. When individuals believe in their abilities and value their worth, they are more likely to perceive and achieve their goals, take on new challenges and explore their potential. This positive self-perception fosters a mindset that embraces personal growth and self-discovery. Self-esteem is the foundation of a fulfilling life. We need to build it strong and will stand tall amidst challenges. Embracing our uniqueness, nurturing our worth, we will have the joy of watching our self-esteem blossom into a force that propels us towards greatness. As we cultivate self-esteem, we need to remember we are not just enough. We are extraordinary and our journey is a witness to the power within us. Let us love our precious life and be compassionate to ourselves and to others. Dear listeners, that was the talk, Self-Esteem, delivered by Ms. Jennifer Aida Mascarenas. This talk came to you from the studios of Akashavani Mangaluru.